Hi, let's make a class diagram. Class diagrams can be used in a lot of different ways. They can be used to understand the high-level interactions among objects within a software system, and they can be used to see low-level details of software classes. I'd like to show you both ways, starting with diagramming at a high level. To start, go to lucidchart.com, log in, and then click on Documents. Then click on New, Blank Document. When this comes up, I'm going to need to load some symbols over here on the left-hand side that are for UML diagramming. So I'm going to click on Shapes, type UML, click on the checkbox, and then use Selected Shapes. Now over here on the left-hand side, I have UML Class Diagram as one of my options. All right, so let's set the stage for what I'm going to diagram. I'm going to, I'm going to create a little note right here. And within this note, I'm going to add in some text that I'm going to bring in from another page. So these will be some talking points. So we need something to diagram. And let's imagine that I have a food truck business selling gourmet donuts, and I call it Paradise Donut Company. I want some software to help me to take online orders, perhaps an app or a website. It really isn't going to matter at this point. My app will have awareness of the donuts we sell, the customers who place the order, and the orders we take on a given day. My first step towards designing, and designing object oriented software is to identify the nouns in my description of my system requirements and turn them into classes or objects in my diagram. My problem involves an overall application, donuts, customers, and orders. So let's add each of those items to the workspace. I'm going to use this option right here for a class that just shows one uh, word in the box. So I'll type in application. I'm going to click and drag over here and type in customer. And I'm going to arrange these in a way that I have pre-planned. I'm going to type in order. And then lastly, I'm going to type in donut. OK, now that I have the classes here in my diagram, the second thing I need to do is add in relationships among the objects. An order contains a customer, and it owns the relationship. So I'll hover over the order till that dot turns red, and then drag an arrow that way. And then I'm going to add in some text that shows how they are related. So I'll double click on the line, and I'll type in contains. So an order contains a customer. Similarly, an order has donuts. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mouse over that, connect it, and I'm going to mention that an order contains a donut. Another thing I can do at this stage to help me understand the relationships among the objects is to add in multiplicities. So what are the numbers involved? Um, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. If I hover over a line and I click on it, and click Add Multiplicities, it adds these little numbers, these little number ranges on each side of the relationship. By default, what this is saying is that an order has zero or more customers, but that isn't right. In reality, an order will only ever have one customer. So I'm going to double click on that and change it. Okay, on the other side, currently it says a customer is part of zero or more orders. Well, um, that's probably not right within our system because they're not really a customer until they've had at least one order. So I'll say a customer is someone who can place one or more orders. All right, now let's add a relationship between order and donuts and define that relationship. So I'll add the multiplicities. Okay, an order cannot have zero donuts in it. That doesn't make sense. So I'll say an order contains one or more donuts. 
From the other direction, an individual donut can be part of no orders because it hasn't been bought yet, or it can be part of, an individual donut can be part of just one uh, order. If we're talking about unique donuts, so I'll put zero to one in that direction. Lastly, I need to handle the overall application object, which is going to be some graphical interface that will allow me, as an owner, to manage my list of customers, manage my orders, and the list of donuts that I sell. I'll create a relationship between application and each object and show that they are related by typing manages on each line. So my, my software application manages these objects in the system. So I'll type in manages. manages and manages. I could add in multiplicity, multiplicities here if I'd like. If I do that, application is going to have zero or more customers as it starts out. So my application has zero or more customers. That's true because initially it's going to be empty and then eventually there'll be lots of customers. But a customer within my system is only going to be belong to one application. So I'll write it in like that. The same relationship numbers uh, in the same directions are going to exist for the other objects or classes in my system. OK, you've now seen how to use the basic class symbols to model the initial classes that will be in a diagram. And you've seen how to use the association line to add in relationship information. Prior to going into deep software details, this type of high-level domain diagramming will help you determine important facts about your future software. I'll show you how to turn this diagram into one suitable for software design in the next video.